Good morning, dear traders. Forex market, we're back. It's Tuesday morning today. We got this ongoing relationship with the Aussie Swiss franc. Last time we've been here, if I'm not mistaken, was five days ago. We were kind of following up on an existing bullish campaign that we had on the Aussie Swiss. Our target right from the get go uh, was 7050. We designated 7050 to be our primary target and find a destination well not final destination we actually have um, a much further away uh, much further away uh, destination for for this one but um, we definitely broke down that move into uh, two major steps I would say 7050 was the first one but what what happened was um, Friday we noticed price action broke 6944 which was a good sign. So it started with um, a good, a positive indication. Price action was uh, on on the right path forward, but then we noticed that local resistance level 6963 was having a serious uh, impact on price action. Price action was just re it was touching base um, and starting to turn around. We didn't like that. We felt it could go all the way back to 6883. So we decided to close out that position. We took quite a bit of profit and we closed it out uh, prematurely, um, obviously. Price action did turn around. And at some point, we're starting to threaten 6925. We were actually considering flipping over, establishing a short position um, and trying to catch 6883. But then, of course, price action uh, found uh, 6925 to be a stiff support and was unsuccessful crossing over, just spiked it a little bit, and then started to hammer. At that point, we were still on the sideline watching. We knew that if price action can make it above 6963 by the end of the day, we're going to jump right back in, right? Because we're going to continue pretty much where we left and just... Um, you know, just take it, uh, try to try to, you know, uh, to catch that last stretch towards the target. Um, and yeah, we woke up today looking back at, the, at yesterday's close and we were very content with that breakout. Immediately, we pulled the trigger, threw in 10K. All right. Now, uh, our intentions obviously is to push this position bigger. Um, we see price action, as you can see, it's on the back foot right now. It came off in the last hour or maybe two hours or so. It kind of came off a little bit. But as you can see, it finds 69.363 here as a support level, which is kind of expected, right? So it already touched base and now it's pulling back up a little bit. That's a good sign. Now, we're going to give the Aussie Swiss a few more hours. If it's going to stay above 69.63, we're going to see that as a green light to proceed right we're gonna give we're gonna give the Aussie Swiss a few hours in case we just want to make sure it doesn't deep below 6963 as it edges closer to the end of the day we want to make sure it stays above that level if it does we're probably gonna throw in another 5k if we're gonna if in any case price action begins to hammer and we happen to be you know outside of the market we decided to place a buy stop order right so if price action begins to hammer it will sweep this trade into action and we're going to have 20k marching towards the target right so that's pretty much the game plan setting up a pending order just in case price action will start building up some positive momentum and we're going to come back in a few hours just to make sure it stays above 693063 and then we can throw in another 5k just to bulk up that position a little bit at the end of the day we're going to 7050. Once we hit that level, we're out, but we're probably going to renew the position a little bit later because we're going to be trying to catch a bigger move from 7050 all the way to 7250. All right, but I guess that's um, I should keep that for uh, for the, for our next session or our next discussion on the Aussie Swiss franc. For now, we'll just keep our eyes on the ball here. Stop loss level is exactly at 69 there's a few levels of protection between us between price section and our stop loss level but the most important part is for price section to stay above 69.63 so keep your eyes peeled and uh we'll definitely be back to follow up on the situation and we'll, and keep you posted of course that's about that for this one see you in the next take care